All right, guys, here we go. Second problem here in our, t in our word problems for today. We're solving for interest rates and times. This time, the only difference between the problem and the, and the first problem that I did is that now the interest is compounded continuously, which means that I know right now that I need to switch over to this formula that deals with compound interest that's continuous. So that's the key word here. You invest $10,000 in an account, that's P. It pays 5% interest, which means our R value is going to be not 5, but 0 0.05. Very important that we put it in decimal format. If we don't put it in decimal format, we've really screwed things up. How long will it take means we're solving for time. Again, we're solving for the T in this equation. For the investment to grow to $18,000, so there's our final amount, $18,000. So let's plug it all in. $18,000 is our final amount. Our starting amount is $10,000. We're going to raise it to e to the 0 0.05 times t. My first step in every single problem is to get the thing with the exponent, that's the e to the power, by itself, which means I need to get rid of the principal. Right now I'm multiplying 10 by 10,000, so what I need to do is divide. So once again, just like I said in the very first video of this series, my first step is always to divide by the principal. Those go away. On the right-hand side, I just have e to the 0 0.05 t. On the left-hand side, I have 18,000 divided by 10,000, which is simply 1.8. Now, if that was a longer decimal, I would leave it, but in this case, it's exactly 1.8, so that's pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Now, how do I get rid of E? And we've talked about it a lot in class. I get rid of E by doing the opposite of E, which is natural log, ln. So I'm going to ln both sides. Okay. The natural log of 1.8 is going to give me a value on my calculator here in a minute. And the right-hand side, the ln and the e cancel each other out. I'm left with 0.05t. So what I'm going to do on my calculator is I'm going to take then the uh, natural log of 1.8, and then I need to divide it by 0.05 after I get that value because that will get the time away and by itself. Okay? It should take a while, guys. It should take a while. If you find out that you get an answer like 0.02 days, okay, that's a problem. That should ring a, raise a warning flag. So on my calculator, I'm going to do ln of 1.8. I need to be very careful here that I end the logarithm. So hit enter. Now I'm going to divide by 0 0.05. And the answer is t, and this is in years, 11.755 years. So let's just round it to 11.8. t is 11.8 years. So it took a while. Congratulations. In 12 years, you made $8,000. Not getting rich, are you? Okay. There's the second problem that is solving for interest rates whenever we have, or sorry, solving for times when we have compound continuous compounded interest.